Buenos dias and welcome back to another video, my friends. I hope you're staying healthy and I hope you're staying safe. It has been raining cats and dogs here, storming on and off for the last few days and more to come and I couldn't be happier. This weather has got me thinking about doing some macro photography. So let's talk about the Canon EOS R's missing feature and that is focus bracketing, also known as focus stacking. Now don't confuse what the Canon EOS R currently has in the camera and that is exposure bracketing. Exposure bracketing is something totally different and not to be confused for focus stacking. What I am talking about is the ability for your camera to automatically and incrementally take images that are focused on thin segments of a subject. So think of it like a printer that creates lines of text or color one segment at a time onto a piece of paper. That is essentially what is happening when the image that is taken goes through your lens and onto your sensor. So why doesn't the Canon EOS R have this feature? I don't know. I truly do not know. However, the Canon EOS R P does, and that's what I wanna show you. In the RP, head over to page five of the red menu, and at the bottom of the screen, you will see focus bracketing. Select this feature, and you will have options to enable or disable focus bracketing, select the number of shots, select the focus increment, and enable or disable exposure smoothing. So let's talk about each one individually. The first one is simple. Focus bracketing, either it's disabled or it's enabled. So in order to use this feature in the RP, you're gonna to want to enable it. So now let's talk about the number of shots. You can select anywhere from two to 999 images to be taken on the Canon EOS RP for this mode. However, something to consider is that you may not even reach, let's say if you selected 50 shots to be taken, you may get to the infinity focus well before the 50 shots and it might only take 20 or 25 shots. So hopefully that makes sense. Just because you choose a certain number, it might not take, actually take that many shots to get to your actual infinity focus. Up next is focus increment. This has to do with the granularity of each image. So it can be from very fine to very wide in terms of how much actual depth that it's going to take each image with. So understand that there's no perfect number, only fine to wide. So if you want a wider shot of each image or segment, it will also have to be in combination with the aperture. So aperture tells us how much actual light is gonna come into the sensor. And that in conjunction with focus increment is going to allow us to see if we're going to choose fine or we're gonna choose wide or somewhere in between the one to 10 value. And that's what you're gonna be selecting. So it's not a perfect science. However, I wish that you could select an in and then an out point. I wanna say that the Canon uh, Z6 has this feature, but I'm not 100% certain. I'll put it somewhere on the screen if it does. But nonetheless, the Canon EOS RP just allows you to choose from one to 10 in terms of fine to wide, as mentioned earlier. So you'll have to play with that a little bit. So lastly, let's talk about exposure smoothing. It's either enabled or disabled. And if you enable it, it's gonna allow your camera to attempt to produce even light across each image. That means each exposure, it's gonna try to manipulate each image. So each one after each one after each shot is going to be the same exact exposure or light at least being produced on each image. Hopefully that made sense. Now that you have all your images taken, you're going to wanna stack or blend them in a photo editing software like Lightroom, Photoshop, or you might even wanna try Canon's free DPP software. But once you have it in there and get them all blended, you are all done and you will have a really nice, finely focused image or at least a section of the image in there. Canon, if you are listening, it would be nice to have this feature in the Canon EOS R. Why it's crippled and not put into this camera, I'm not sure, but maybe in a firmware update down the line, you will do us a solid and get that in there. 
Anyways, everybody, that's gonna do it today. Thank you so much for watching. If this was of any value today, give me a thumbs up, I would appreciate it. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed. Ring that bell to notify you of future videos and please comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Do you do macro photography or is this something you would like to try in your Canon EOS R or do you have a Canon EOS RP that you've been doing this with? Hope so. Share your comments down below. I'd appreciate it. All right, guys, until the next one. I love you. Peace.